What's up guys? Zach Hample here at the Oakland Coliseum, which is my 17th Major League Baseball stadium this season. And yes, this place is old and funky and a lot of people bash it. I secretly love it because I think it's very interesting and different. But unfortunately, the gates here are opening just 60 minutes before game time. So probably no batting practice, but check out this shirt. I am going for foul balls tonight taking a break from the outfield seat, so hoping to snag a bunch during the game and bring you guys lots of action in this video. Let's get in there. Half an hour till gates. Not exactly a huge crowd. Welcome, and thank you for visiting the Oakland Coliseum, home of your Oakland Athletics. The A's are committed to... Yeah, this is how we're entering today, in this cavernous, surprisingly swank concourse. Okay. This was left over from the uh, Raiders. Gotcha. This was built for Al uh, Davis. Well, let's get down to the seats. Come on. They're done with BP. This place is such a trip. Every time I come here, I'm just amazed at the condition of, well, pretty much everything. There is no other MLB stadium that looks anything like this. And yet, personally, I enjoy it because there are lots of different places where baseballs can hide. And today, I noticed a ball sitting on the platform on top of the out-of-town scoreboard here in left field. So, I broke out my trusty device, the cup trick and that ball happened to be positioned directly underneath a random piece of metal and I actually struggled briefly to get the ball to go inside the cup but this device is reliable and before long I made it happen and when I lifted it back up well just like that I got myself on the board in Oakland for 2023 and because I had some time to spare after that I wandered around for a bit and you can see where I am right now in the concourse down the left field line and I'm hanging out here because they are blasting music out in the seats and I want to make sure that you guys can hear me give a shout out for the final time this season to my friends over at SeatGeek because they are sponsoring this video. Now SeatGeek is the official ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball so they got you covered for all of your ticketing needs and I have you covered as well because SeatGeek has given me a link that I can share with you guys, and when you use it, you can save 10% on your tickets anytime you use the app. It is a tremendous offer, and I'll explain in just a bit how it works. But first, just to show you guys what the app looks like, and I'm gonna pull up a random postseason game. SeatGeek is an app that gathers tickets from all over the internet into one place to make it so easy to buy them. And when you pull up the seating chart, you're gonna see all these colorful dots. You wanna focus on the green ones. Green, right? The red ones, not so much. The green ones are the best deals. And also SeatGeek, they rate every ticket from one to 10, so you can tell right away just how good of a deal you're getting. And it gets better because SeatGeek is the only ticketing app that, get this, they let you exchange your tickets ahead of the event through a feature called Swaps. Now, as for taking advantage of this offer and saving the money, Basically, all you gotta do is check the description. You'll find the link there, and when you click it, just sign in or sign up to SeatGeek, and those savings will be applied automatically to your account, 10% off any time you use the app. And by the way, SeatGeek is the number one ticketing app. It's been downloaded more than 28 million times. That's a nice echo, and that's a lot of times. And every day on SeatGeek, there are more than 70,000 events that is a whole lot because it's not just Oakland A's tickets that are there. It's not just Major League Baseball. It's all sports. It's all events, concerts, comedy. Anytime you guys are going to buy a ticket, do yourself a favor and check out SeatGeek first. 
The man right here, Dustin Hughes. We've had him in many videos. We're in his house today. The best bullpen catcher in MLB. Guess who did in sections 100 through 105 and use the stairs down to the doors leading to the championship hall of the and safe man and do not do it. We want to roll there. Remember that responsibility has its rewards. Pledge to be a Budweiser responsible to the Well, that did not take long. A. Eugenio Suarez, the fourth batter of the game for Seattle. Man, he hit that one exactly to me. I basically just stood up, made the catch, and that was that. So, feeling good about life at the moment. Right now, bottom of the first, I have my glove on. This is the view from the slightly on the third base side of home plate. I actually did buy tickets on both sides tonight, so I can move back and forth. Wait, here's the pitch. That is low and inside, so um, we'll see how many more I can get tonight.
are through the first three innings. The Mariners are on top one to nothing, and my blistering foul ball pace has cooled somewhat. I had three foul balls after the middle of the second inning, and I'm still at three right now, but I just wanted to say, as I make my way back to my seat, well, you know what, I'll stay here in the concourse because it's gonna be noisy up in the seats. Yeah, look at this very beautiful concourse here. The second foul ball, which I grabbed in the seats, was hit by Luis Torrens. That was in the top of the second. And then my third foul ball was that same half inning hit by J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez. Made a nice catch, uh, reaching over the railing for that one. So as for my record for most foul balls in one game, if we're talking about inside a standard Major League Stadium, the record is four, which I did in Detroit two years ago. If we're talking about any Major League game, and it gets an asterisk. Well, when the Blue Jays were playing their games in Dunedin, a minor league stadium during COVID, but they were playing regular season games there, I hung out outside the stadium and I got seven foul balls. You seriously need to check out that video. So I guess I'll head back to my seat now. But yeah, I mean, one more to tie my standard record and we'll see if that happens and how many more I can get. And by the way, I have now gotten 95 or sorry, 94 lifetime balls at the Oakland Coliseum. So uh, obviously getting six more for triple digits would be cool. I don't expect to do it tonight, but hopefully sometime soon. foul ball of the game in the bottom of the fifth inning. And right now we're in the top of the sixth. Jose Caballero is up. He hit the home run before. So hold on a second. I'm on foul ball duty. That was a bit high. So I don't really know what to say except if you guys want to catch a foul ball, get your ass to Oakland. Go ahead. So I kept that one. 
one because it's number five and I gave that dude number four. I don't think he'll mind. Holy crap, you guys. This is insane. This is insane. I just did something that I've never done in my life in more than 2,000 games. Five foul balls inside of a major league stadium. Never happened. Jonah, who snagged that foul ball, he said it was his first one ever. He's a vendor at Wrigley Field. Had him in my video earlier this year when I went to two stadiums in one day in Chicago. So I'm happy for him. Yeah. 
Final here in Oakland, and it was all Mariners tonight. They beat the A's by the score of five to nothing. And I gotta say, it's a good thing that I did not waste my time in the outfield because there was only that one home run. And in case you're wondering, it landed in a spot where I wouldn't have been anyway. And you know, this whole season, and really for the past few seasons, I have not prioritized foul balls. I spent a few games in foul territory, also going for some commemorative balls, but I'm usually in the outfield trying to catch dingers, but I'm really glad, obviously, that I made the decision tonight to sit behind home plate. And man, six foul balls during the game. I don't even know what more I can say about it, but this is the very final ball, the record setter slash establisher. This was hit by Luis Torrens, the second foul ball that he hit tonight. I got that one cup trick ball before the game. So seven balls total. I gave everything away except this one. They all count, as you guys know, for the lifetime number, which is 12,374. So, oh man, I feel like a million bucks, a billion bucks. And I have to give a huge shout out to my videographer, Rachel. Woo -woo. Yes, because she was filming every pitch during the game so that we didn't miss a foul ball. That's why we got all of them on camera, all those sick action shots. So huge thanks, Rachel. That's amazing. And uh, the official attendance tonight was 4,900 and I think 72. I don't want to get this wrong. I think 4,972. Yeah, so a little bit higher than the projected number, but obviously plenty of room to work with. So that's it. I got to go. There will be more Oakland A's videos coming your way. So subscribe, really, if you haven't done it. I mean, if six foul balls isn't enough to make you subscribe, then I quit. Uh, but really, thanks for watching and lots more stuff soon. Bye.